So this is mid-June. Just had a nice rain today. Things cooled off for a change. Gosh, it's been getting to 90 degrees every day. Um, but uh, while the plants in the ground were struggling a bit uh, to stay hydrated, this soilless gardening system, this bio garden, uh, these plants are having no trouble. Not only that, they're not having any competition from weeds. And they're getting lots and lots of nutrients. So plenty of water, plenty of nutrients, no competition, and no soil-borne organisms to mess with. But these plants are so nourished that they probably wouldn't get any uh, um, infestations very easily because their natural defenses are fully intact. As you can see here, this is just an example of what we're doing with the tomatoes. These are clusters of six perfectly formed tomatoes. Here I've got clusters of eight on these pear tomatoes, pear shaped tomatoes. Clusters of eight, that is. Clusters all up this, all up this vine. More. And. Um, and what I'm doing is is I've got the tomatoes on one side of this eight foot long trough bio garden soilless in an aggregate and a media that we've developed that we've sort of blended it's a mix of some off the shelf products like grow stone and a uh, little remnant hydrogen uh, but we also use uh, something called permatil, which is a, a really nice porous stone uh, mine here in the south. We've also found mines in other places in the in the country, um, and biochar. And uh, but in that media, we're growing our our tomato plants, and we're doing it organically by producing our own organic liquid fertilizer. That liquid fertilizer goes into the trough. Um, it's generally got some more ammonia in it, so the duckweed is a good first pass because it it consumes ammonia and it's uh, and it's growing, uh, which is going to be a, a form of it's going to be uh, modifying that form of nutrient into a fish food. Of course, we got our fish down there; they're waiting for their next meal to grow. Um, um, and so the, we, you know, we have these tomatoes being nourished by organic liquid fertilizer that we're creating from our biomass. We call it grow teas, and we're doing the process called nutricycling. And we built a nutricycler to make that happen. Um, and we offer those at our website if you want to check us out. We're bioponica.org, and uh, we're also on Facebook. And we're doing some pretty cool projects. One in Oregon, building a farm. An entire farm complex for a, a, a young man who's uh, who's uh, interested in 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 all the elements that we've put together in our boxcar farm. So, like I was saying though, I've got ten tomatoes in an in a twelve square foot trough. This is an eight foot long trough that's eighteen inches wide, and those tomatoes are are doing fine because I've I've built a 10-foot trellis off of there that's just wedged into the corrugate like that pretty easy setup for us makes these corrugated soilless grow troughs these bio garden troughs pretty pretty fun to work with um, and with 10 plants growing on one side and and you know frankly on this side I've got peppers and basil and dill I love the variety um, four different peppers but if we were just growing tomatoes and we had one unit we could have literally 20 tomato plants in 12 square feet growing out at both in both directions and probably i'd say there's like 250 tomatoes at this point on this on these plants here we could have 500 tomatoes growing at any one at in one you know uh at one stage at the same time and uh, and who knows? Maybe get six, seven hundred tomatoes off of this in the in the course of the um, the season. So not bad for twelve square feet.
a lot better than square foot gardening, I can say that much. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out and send us your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'd like to hear about your project and uh, answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.